ladies and gentlemen, Jason Andrews, AKA the All-American Driver. We have kind of an episode that might be all over the place. If you guys can see behind me, we got new rubber for the Shelby. We're running the Goodyear Supercar 3Rs, F1s. We also are meeting up with Kai and Curtis who bought a race car. Yeah, they bought a race car, so I'm, I'm very excited to kind of see what that's about. And I think Curtis, AKA Archetype Racing, has got something for the Shelby that might be going on today. So a ton to do, I'm running behind, I hope they'll wait for me. And uh, so let's get out of here now. So besides being out of gas, the Raptor is like, is just driving so well uh, with the Cobb stage one, the transmission tuning, uh, just just super happy. It's almost, it almost drives like unbelievably good. Unbelievably good, very pumped. Okay, we're, I can actually see Curtis. He's got his Raptor here. Raptor gang here. Oh, and he doesn't give me any room here. He, he doesn't give me any room. You didn't, you guys didn't give me any room. Raptor gang, we were gonna take over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Kai. He hasn't been on the channel in a while. Look at that piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of slow. Whose piece of crap is that? It looks loud though. It's loud. Those brakes I'm impressed with. We got to uh, we got to get underneath the car when they lifted it. I was I was shocked that those those ducks actually go into. Now what? What are we looking at? The ducted brake rotors. Well, what I'm looking here, this looks wooden. This looks wood. You know, I know a guy who makes carbon fiber stuff. Yeah, it's getting a sponsored splitter. No, the ducts that are behind the, the brakes, the covers, are actually full carbon fiber. Ah. So the ducts go into like these carbon fiber. Oh, I see. I see. What's in the cooler? Uh, like Red Bulls? That's where we keep the beers. Beer. Okay, yeah. <laughs> What's this hole? Oh, you know what that hole is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This guy, what's this hole? <laughs> just kidding. We're just kidding. Look, this is a family channel, ladies and gentlemen. Kai didn't mean that. That's pretty loud. It is. It's got a lot of sauce. How much horsepower? Uh, 430 at the wheels. Dyno. All right, now I gotta adjust myself. Now don't forget your steering wheel. Yeah, it's a chore. Okay, cool. Now I gotta get this out of here. This out of here. Pretty loud. Okay, so now Curtis is coming to my house. Yep, here we go. To help to do some more race car things. More race car things, yep. More Let's race do car it. things. Okay, quick change of plans. We were about to do the modification on the Shelby, but Kai called in the race car and he's having trouble, so the posse, the rescue posse, is on their way. Here we go. This is not a good start to the race car. <laughs> This 
So what, it was just some little thing with the alarm? The magical reset button. We got the fire suppression put in, so you see the pin underneath the wing. Yeah. So you can actuate the fire suppression. So there's one in the dash, kind of next to the kill switch, and then there's one there. And that just shoots fire retardant stuff all under the dash. Think near the fuel tank. Oh. So so if this if this guy right here in the Scion jumped out and pulled that tab, be a bad day <laughs> for Kai. Oh yeah. Would he be covered in? It's stuff. <laughs> ah, if this video gets one million likes, I will do that. Okay, I will do that for one million likes. The boss. Boss, they're going too. Is this just a, is this a bolt-on motor or is it fully built? No, it's headers, exhaust, uh, Boss 302 plenum, bigger, bigger uh, throttle body. So all bolt-on? Yep, all bolt-on. The engine hasn't been opened up, it's all factory coyote. Going for the good old reliable. Yeah. Because we're going to run the endurance race with it. How long is the endurance stuff? 12 hours. 12 hours. 12 hours. Yeah. And no you have th three drivers? Uh, I think three, we might have the plus we got some on the bench. Yeah. Secret sauce guy. <laughs> Super secret squirrel guy. Our cheater, we call it. Yeah. Look at this fire suppression system. Anything that's the, the red, even the inside, it's the, the fire suppression mm. system. See ya, Kai. Later, guys. There's Kai's new G Wagon. Okay, so crisis averted. The car is, it seems to be doing fine. There was just, maybe something's going on with the auto blip, but then you restart it and then it runs fine. So now Curtis is here and we're gonna put a little bit more aero on the Shelby GT350R. So Curtis, what are we putting on the car? We're, we are gonna put on the Archetype Racing Vengeance Canards in gloss carbon fiber. I'm actually not sure how many times on this channel I have said Curtis, AKA Archetype Racing, but it's almost, it's almost every episode. Ah, so thankful for this. This is all eyeballed, mostly. This is the all important adhesive promoter. This is where it gets serious, huh? Yeah, you get one shot. Are you feeling pressure? Nope, not really. There could be up to 250 people watching this. At one time? Well, <laughs> no, over the course of a, maybe a week, we might get 250 views on this. So Curtis, for the folks walked in at home, yep. what do these do? So canards are, they kind of nuance the air. They create some downforce, but the way these are designed, they are made to channel more air up into the coolers. And you also have the flick portion that creates a lot of low pressure along the front surface of the wheel that pulls a lot more of the high pressure air in the wheel up to the outside and helps cool the brakes and keeps the air moving. Um, the bigger version of these with the one inch um, winglet really kicks air up because you don't you get a lot less roll off coming off there. So they look super aggressive. These are kind of right in the middle where you can put them on a lightly modified car and they still look like they are meant to be there. And I think I asked you before, but you know the Shelby or the 
the Camaro, the, the Z01, 1LE, the Dodge Viper ACR, they have canards from the factory. Correct. Why don't you think this, the, the race Mustang does? Because <sighs> it's a Mustang and they, they're trying to sell it to more markets. And there's a lot of markets that don't allow more than three inches of protrusion from the body. Um, it makes it hard to, to sell in other markets. It's kind of crazy. I've, I've sold parts to guys in South America. I, I had an order go out to Bogota, Colombia last week, um, South Korea. So this car is global. It's just you got to Ford really has to watch the markets where they try to get these cars out to. Hmm. I had no idea they had GT350s in Bogota, Colombia. There you go. That's solid. That. Oh yeah. And so I know, but so j these things don't have to be rib nutted on. Nope. There's three options. You can do rib nut, uh, which is common. You can do the 3M VHB, which is really common. Probably two thirds of them are a rib nut, and every once in a while, somebody orders bolt on because they just want it on there forever. Hmm. So the only drawback to bolt-on is you have to pull the fascia to put the nuts and the washers on the back side. But this 3M is, is strong enough for whatever yep. downforce? Yep, 3M is or... rated at 30 pounds of hold per inch, and there's 22 inches of canard. So like 500 pounds. Yeah, let's do that. 30 times 20. Yeah, wow. sounds good. Cool. Let's do the other one. Let's do the other one. We're just working all the way up and down the VHB to push all of the air out. What does that stand for? Very high bond VHB. It's made by 3M. It's the automotive grade uh, double-sided adhesive. Now, if somebody put these on and ever wanted to take them off. Good luck now. Good luck. <laughs> They come off, uh, heat and fishing line. Heat gun, yeah. And fishing line. Yeah, I mean, you'll still have the residue to remove, but there you go. This has been a long time coming, I feel like. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is ask. Well. <laughs> no, the gloss looks good. It looks great. Yeah, it looks great. I mean the the track spec with the winglets they they look beefy. Yeah. Okay, so real quick, just huge shout out to Curtis, uh, AKA Eight Lug, AKA Archetype Racing. Uh, like I said, I have been waiting to put some of Curtis's arrow on my car for a long time, and uh, I know this is just like something really small, you know, but I'm not in a position right now that I, I, I you know, I'm ready to get like a giant splitter or do one of his massive wings or something like that. This is, uh, you know, just a, a little something, takes a car, you know, it, it just makes it, you know, maybe a percent better, you know, and, and it's starting to give it a look that's a little bit more custom, a little bit more unique, which I like. So soon we'll put these tires on. Apparently they're wider. Um, like these are 305s. I'm gonna be running 305 square. Apparently the 305 on the F1s is wider than the 315 um cup twos so we'll see it might actually give it kind of like a nice uh a nice kind of fitment look you know because you can see here the tires are a little bit tucked in the front especially the back you can see they kind of come out a little bit more but the front are tucked in so I think it's actually gonna look pretty cool squaring the entire car up. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I know this this vlog was a little all over the place. I didn't know exactly what was going on with that race Mustang, 
You know, uh, leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see more of that car. I can probably try to make it down there when it goes on track next. And uh, who knows, may maybe even get to drive that or something. You know, that, that might be fun. I've never driven something kind of that extreme before. I don't know if it's going to be faster or slower than my car, but it would definitely be like a totally different experience, right? So uh, that, that would be fun. Uh, anyways, just again, Kai, Curtis, thank you guys so much. Jason Andrews, the All-American Driver. I will see you in the next episode.